Hi everyone, I just want to share with you um, a recipe junk journal that I've made. Um, this was a swap over on Junk Journal Junkies on Facebook. Um, my partner for this is Melanie Barnes. So Melanie, if you watch this and you don't want to see it yet, then turn it off now. Um, <clears throat> so I've used an A5 um, binder. Um, which I actually didn't plan on using and had a, was looking for a few bits for the journal and found the binder and thought ah you, you use this instead I was actually going to just use binder rings um, which I'd actually bought 40 of <laughs> not to use all in the one journal of course but I bought a bulk load of them um, so I've decorated the front cover I've used, the, I've used, I've used it I have used some designer paper which I can't remember what line it's from now <clears throat> and I have added a recipe card here and a mason jar which I cut out from one of the collections that I had I done some punching here <clears throat> um, and I kind of layered this up a little bit so this is quite thick along here um, I used my Tim Holtz um, alterations die to um, <clears throat> get the word recipes this um, I done with a strip of scrap card and a little square punch, which actually I will show if I've got a little bit of paper here now, I'll show you how that was done. That was easy peasy. So get the chevron look, um, strip of paper, um, go into it with your little square punch, and this is really hard. And then just kind of line it up whoops and keep doing that until you've got the amount of chevrons that you want to use so that's how i done that i just used the same colored the same red cardstock as i used for this this i've left open so you can actually tuck in a recipe card i've just put made with love this um, ribbon I've just put in a bowl which can be taken off if you don't want it on there Melanie um, just some red gingham ribbon and I think it's got the wire running through it yeah it has um, the back actually haven't finished the back um, I'm gonna put another strip of paper down here <clears throat> and then we go inside I uh, hope my glossy accents all dry now. So I've got a pocket, an envelope pocket here with some recipe cards tucked in there. There's a few in there. And I've left this so that you can tuck stuff in behind there too. Might put something else on here. I just created a little pocket there. I haven't put anything on the tabs. I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, you may want to reshuffle the whole thing around because I've just put this in at the moment randomly. Um, so I've cut out some old recipes from an old book that I had and this one here is artichoke and leek soup and this one is leaf stilton soup which I like, I like soup, I'm a big soup person. Um, this I cut out of a magazine and I just backed it onto some cardstock and that looks nice. Um, let's put that back in there. I haven't done anything there, we've got an envelope here with some more recipe cards and I had to wait to get some new ink I was having terrible problems with my printer um, over the last couple of weeks actually <clears throat> um, I'd bought new inks and they just didn't want to play everything was coming out streaky so I bought my inks from um, a new supplier and they arrived this morning and put them in and everything is fine which I am so happy about so I must have got a, a batch of dodgy inks and the thing is I buy them in bulk as well which is really annoying so I've now got four of each colour that actually not doing anything so and I have complained to the seller so we'll see what comes out of that anyway back to this so that, this is how I managed to get these printed on here I've used some coin envelopes here with some little tags it says sweet delicious and yum you can just put some notes in there or whatever you like um, here I've just used some scrap paper there created a little tuck spot and put that in there stamp some cherries there um, this paper here I got from Sabine Sabine Sabina 
Sabine, oh, sorry I can never get your name right, who is um, Mama Jean One here on YouTube. She'd sent me um, s some paper in a swap recently and I thought it would be handy to put in here. And it's all cakes and that's why I've put Naughty But Nice and a little tuck spot down here and a tuck spot there which actually one of these can go in there that way around um, some more cakey themed paper here this I cut from is this a magazine? It must be a magazine and it's Texan Cobbler which I like spicy food um, Melanie might not like spicy food but I do <laughs> Um, some more journaling, uh, some journaling recipe cards. Um, here I've just put made with love and I've got a little envelope in there for you to put things in. And some more of the um, recipe cards that I've printed off. <clears throat> and I've used some white paper, I've used some um, coffee stained paper, There's some plain paper in here for you to write your own recipes in probably going to do something on here to be honest I'm not 100% finished on this um, so the bits you don't see be a nice surprise um, a bag that I got from Noelle who is um, scrap paper art here on YouTube and I've seen this in a magazine and I've cut that out and it's um, what to do with your sweet potatoes so you've got a variation of things that you can do I thought that might be a handy tip. Uh, on here we've got some quick muffin pizzas. If you've got any teenagers, that'd be handy. Um, here I've created a pocket and stamped a cupcake on there. Got some more recipe cards. And I've put a little, cut out a little tiny mason jar and put that on there. And it's got some little hearts in it. Some coffee stain papers, another envelope with a recipe card, which I found online. I've used a cupcake, um, thingy bobber. I'm going to show you what they are. Cupcake. I can't remember what these are called. What are they called? Cases. <laughs> a cupcake case. Jeez, I couldn't remember what they were called then. I have tons of them as well. Um, some designer paper, another one of these bags, and a recipe card, I keep wanting to say journal card, some more blank paper to write some recipes out and, or stick things onto, some more coffee stain paper, mason jar here with a recipe card, another cupcake case, and two um, little recipe cards there and it says make a cake. Um, and on here we have this and another envelope it's quite a lot in here um, on here I've done like a waterfall effect with the recipe cards I can stick stuff down there on here I've just done a little tuck spot recipe card three little mason jars together you could write some notes or like um, tips or little recipes on there on here we have another tuck spot and a recipe card. I see what I mean, it's getting real chunky. Um, oh, sirens. Some more paper, some more bags, some pattern paper. I haven't done much to the back of this, but I'm going to. These here I picked up at the local um, supermarket, I think it was Sainsbury's, and I just put them in the back um, for you to either use them or not. <laughs> I might put another pocket in here but that's what I've done so far. So anything I add into it from now will be a surprise. Um, I've been looking for some images online but I can't find anything that, <coughs> um, that I like. Um, so I'm gonna, and because I've just got my ink today, um, I will spend some time over the weekend looking for some stuff and, and add some more into this. So this is quite a big one um, and I'm pleased how it's coming along and if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching. Bye!